Okay, so we'll make our kitchari now. It's a simple dish and I will take a cup of rice here. You can take any kind of rice that is available at home. And then I'll take a cup of tur dal here. It's also known as pigeon piece. So we'll take one cup of each and we'll wash this. Okay, so I have some ginger here that I have finally ground it. Then I have some cumin, mustard, fennel creek, all these seeds together. And then I have ghee here, which is clarified butter. Uh, people who are vegan can always substitute this with vegan butter or with oil. And you can also use coconut oil, which is really good and tasty too. Then I have two dried chilies here. If you don't find dried chilies, you can use crushed chilies. Then I have some curry leaf, which I got from my plant at home. But if you can't find that, you can use bay leaf as well. And if you can't find that, you can always keep that as well. I have my rice, which I have washed, and my dal that is washed. I like to wash it till um, any extra dust or anything extra starch that's sitting uh, washes away so we'll start with the cooking here so I'll take two teaspoons of butter here you can add extra or less according to your taste you can always control whatever you're putting on your food so I'm adding my mustard cumin seed fennel creek everything here and I will add my dry chili. As I said, you can also use crushed chili if you have. If not, and then at this point, you can also add black pepper as well. So there you go. I'll add my ginger here. I like my food always to be really flavorful. So I eat, it, eat and add lots of flavors to my cooking all the time. Now that my ginger is cooking, I'll add the curry leaf which I have cut into small pieces here. And then now I'm going to add all my dal in there that I have washed it. You can use mung dal as well. Mung dal is really good too and cooks faster. I didn't have any at home so I decided to use tur dal which is also known as with Pigeon pea. There you go. So we'll cook this for a couple minutes just till the flavor comes out. So my dal has been cooking for a couple minutes. Now what I'll do is I'll add the rice. Even with the rice, I have washed it. everything together and if you're making into a small quantity you can always um, use half uh, a cup of tur dal and half a cup of um, rice Okay, while that's cooking, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder here and then half a teaspoon of salt here. Salt is always according to your taste, so you can always put less or more. And people are asking why do I roast them? Just to bring the flavor out and you can cook without roasting it too, but um, just if you want that flavor, um, you can uh, roast it. <coughs> so now what I'll do is I'll add water. So I'll turn I've taken boiling water here 
so the process is faster but you can always use uh, tap water as well okay so there you go so I've used six cups of water here and we'll let this cook Put the lid on and we'll let this cook on medium flame. So what I'll do here is, you can see it's like nicely done here. I'll add a tablespoon of lemon juice. You can use lime juice or whatever you have at home. And you can always um, add according to your taste. I love it a little bit of more of the flavor from the lime so I added a tablespoon here instead of a teaspoon you can always add a teaspoon so my kitchen is all ready to be enjoyed so I take this out to be served wow it looks so good so as you can see mine is more drier side I don't like it to be too runny but if you do you can always add um, extra water to it Okay, there's my kitchen all ready to be enjoyed. You can have this with pickle or cucumber. If you eat yogurt, you can also enjoy with a little bit of yogurt. There you go. Enjoy. Hopefully you liked my kitchen recipe and I want you guys to try it out and see how it turns out. It's really healthy, lots of protein and easy to make as well. So do try it out and let me know how yours turned out oh, and bye for now.